From my mum's side, I'm third generation Australian. My dad on first. Um, I'm only 20 years old and I've been brought up in Australia my whole life. I, um, I was brought up to be kind of prejudiced and so I always had a bad view about Muslims. So, you know, 9-11 happened, I thought they were all terrorists and I was brought up, you know, to believe that. I was brought up to be a Christian, but by Christian it means I could still go out and drink and do everything because I believe that Jesus died for my sins and I was forgiven. So it's not very... <laughs> Yeah, I was never brought up strict religious. I used to go to youth group and scripture, but that was my own will. Uh, for two years, I was actually a bartender in a nightclub. And one night, I met a patron who was Muslim. And he, he wasn't practicing because he was clubbing. And we actually became really good friends. And through him, I met his friend, who's now my husband. But with him, he used to be like, he used to try and tell me about Islam. I'm like, don't bother, I don't want to be Muslim. That's not something I want, you know, it's crazy. And then he kept saying, he's like, just read, just read something about Islam. I'm like, I don't want to read. And he's like, just please, try. And I was like, fine, I'll do it for the sake of you. And so I read a book and I kept reading and I kept looking at videos and I kept researching and I started to realize that they're not crazy terrorists like the media portrays. They're actually like peaceful and they're happy. He got the number for a revert that's in Perth and so I went to go see her that week and I met her and just seeing how happy she was and her family was and she told me about Islam and by the end of it I was sitting down with her for about three hours I almost started crying and she stopped she's like you're gonna cry I'm like no no I'm fine I'm fine but it's like I was looking for something my whole life and meeting her is when I found it and what I found was Islam and so I embraced it. I took my Shahada on Eid this year and started wearing hijab every day. And my dad, he kind of frowned upon it, but he still speaks to me. And my mum, it took her a few weeks, but she saw how happy I was and she didn't want to question, like, she didn't want to say, oh, don't want you to be happy. So it has changed for the better. And I am really, really happy. And. Because I've met so many other sisters and brothers and family here, but at the same time I still want my parents and my grandparents and the ones that have accepted me, I'm so thankful for. And I'm so happy and this is a lifetime commitment I want to have.